Let's be honest, importing models in any game engine is a pain due to textures not being automatically assigned, and it's even more so with RPG developer Bacon. But what if there was a way to automate that whole ordeal? To avoid this treadmill work, I've developed an add-on called the Bacon Model Exporter for Blender, which will let you export a model for Bacon in such a way that it automatically assigns all the textures upon import. After installing the add-on in Blender, open the model you want to export and press the N key to open the side panel, and locate the Bacon Model Exporter tab. Now enter a unique model name in this text field, and when that's done, make sure to have the current scene saved as a Blender project. And then, just press export. Yes, it's really that simple. In the same folder as your Blender project, you'll find a new folder with the model and textures, alongside a def file that defines the Bacon material. Then just open your Bacon project, go into the stamps, import the model from the generated folder, and you should, hopefully, see that your model has exported properly, with the textures automatically assigned. The add-on will also generate a Bacon mask map texture if the model has textures connected to its roughness, specular, metallic, and or emissive nodes, which you can confirm by opening the shading tab on Blender and inspecting the shader nodes of the materials used by the model. You can also invert the colors of said maps through the exporter to obtain a slightly different effect on the materials. All the model's materials need to use the principled BSDF node for the add-on to work, which is basically PBR. In addition, you can't have multiple materials shared between different meshes. If that's the case, join the meshes together and then re-export the model. If your mesh contains a lot of materials, consider baking the textures through an add-on like Simple Bake. Trust me, the engine will scream with that many different materials. The exporter isn't a perfect solution and can lead to some weird model exports, but it's better than nothing. You'll find a link to the add-on on either GitHub or itch.io down in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you'll save some time on the import process with this add-on.